Hi, I'm Dr. Rajni Bagai, consultant gynecologist with Narayana Health Aura. We're here to talk about cancer cervix today. Cancer cervix or cancer of the mouth of the uterus is still a leading cause of death in females in our country. Sadly, this cancer is both preventable and gives excellent results when treated early. The root cause of these cancers is now thought to be human papillomavirus infection of the cervix, which with super added other risk factors, such as poor nutrition, early age at marriage, multiple sexual partners, HIV infection, smoking and some others, leaks changes in the cervical epithelium to turn into cancer. We can prevent this cancer by vaccinating our children against human papillomavirus infection. Vaccines are available for people from the ages of 9 to 45. We can also catch changes in the cervical epithelium called cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, which can take 10 to 30 years to actually change into cancer. And we do this by doing a cervical cytology, popular known as the pap smear test. This is a simple test where fluid from the cervix is taken, put on a slide and examined by the pathologist. This test should be done ideal, ideally from the age of 21 to 65 years every 3 years or we can do a pap smear test from the age of 21 to 29 and then we can do a co-test consisting of HPV testing and pap smear testing every 5 years from the age of 30 to 65. Let's assume that we have not even done this. We still need to be aware of the possible signs and symptoms of cervical cancer. Any kind of atypical irregular bleeding from the uterus, especially after contact. Any foul smelling discharge from the vagina, vaginal discomfort, urinary irritation can be warning signs of a cancer. Do not take them lightly. Please get a checkup done. When we treat cervical cancer, it has been seen that we get excellent results of disease-free survival when the cancer is caught early at stage 1. In later stages, the results are not so good. So let's be aware of prevention and treatment of cervical cancer and let's eradicate deaths from these cancers. Thank you.